The Commission on Administrative Justice now wants Nairobi County Assembly Clerk Jacob Nguele to explain why he has failed to facilitate the swearing-in of a nominated member of the Assembly, despite the member having been gazetted almost three months ago. Perpetua Mponjiwa won a petition that ordered the, the gazettement of her name and her subsequent swearing-in as a nominated member of the Assembly. However, the Clerk and the Acting Speaker, Chege Moura, have so far disregarded that court order. During the 2017 general elections, Papetua Mponjiwa took part in ODM party primaries to secure a ticket to vie for the Kileleshwa Ward Member of County Assembly. And I won. And uh, the party leadership came to me and uh, told me to relinquish my seat to Otieno Elias. And uh, therefore we did an agreement a consent, we filed a consent in court, in the Court of Appeal, and uh, they guaranteed that I'll be nominated as the nominated MCA. Then Otieno Elias would go now uh, to participate in the general election of 2017. They published my name in the National Newspaper and the Standard Newspaper. My name appeared as the people who will be nominated. But the day of the Kenya Gazette, my name was replaced by someone else. Mponjiwa moved to court to seek justice and eventually won in July last year. The court ordered her name to be gazetted as a nominated member of the Nairobi County Assembly and her to be sworn in. Besides that, the court also ordered the degazettement of Malenya Eve, who had been given Mpojiwa's nomination position. It took IBC eight months. They had to be compelled again by the court. They were given seven days to, to gazette my name. Nairobi County Assembly Clerk Jacob Mguele received the court order and even promised to have Mbonjiwa sworn in on 4th June this year, first thing when the assembly resumed its sittings. Castro. So uh, he picked me and took me to the, the acting speaker's office. The guy introduced himself as the acting speaker. He's called Shege Mwaura. So we sat there and they had no, definitely I could see they were not willing to swear me in. That has not happened as Malenya Eve continues to enjoy the perks of a nominated MCA despite being degazetted. She's no longer a public officer anymore, but they continue to pay her salaries and allowances, which is public money. And the person who's been gazetted is locked out. So that is corruption. Elias Otieno, the minority leader in the county assembly, is among those Mponjiwa believes to be behind her current tribulations. They should respect the law and uh, they should be summoned by the relevant authorities so that, you know, they are brought to books because, you know, court orders are not papers the way they think they are. Vincent Udur, NTV.